Hi, it's Carol with the Child Creativity Lab. And it's a rainy day today, kind of cold outside. And I thought this might be a really good day to spend some time in the kitchen. Um, it's getting close to Easter and one of our favorite things in our family is to dye Easter eggs. And in the past we've used those kits where you get the food coloring. And I thought this year, you know what, it would be really nice to do organically dyed eggs. So I've done some research on it and there's a lot of plants that you can use. There's some spices you can use. Um, I'll put a list up on the video here that you can look through and see some of the different things that you can use to color eggs. I just went through my pantry and found some things that I already had and thought we could use these to start the process. But first of all, you're going to need some pans. You're going to need a measuring cup to put your water in. Um, you need some white vinegar. You won't need a lot. If you just have just a little bottle of it, that's fine. Even if it's um, apple cider vinegar, that works fine too. The white vinegar is nice because it has no color in it. Um, you'll need your organic items that you find to make the dye out of. I'm wearing gloves, um, especially like the beets. They um, will turn your fingers pink if you don't have the gloves on, so a lot easier to clean up if you keep your gloves on. Hence the apron as well, or wear something that if you get some of the dye on there, it's not going to ruin your day. Um, you're going to need some hard boiled eggs. So that could be your first step is to go ahead and hard boil probably about a half a dozen um, eggs and have those cool down and ready to dye. Um, you will need some plastic cups or maybe mason jars or bowls, something that you can put your dye in and then drop the egg into to color it. Let's see, what else? Um, I think that's all you need to put together for right now. So if you go gather those things and meet me back here. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm going to use some beets and I found these cranberries in my pantry that I don't know when I bought them, so they're old, and I thought that would be a good thing to use, and we'll boil those up and see how that works out. And then I'm also going to try some paprika. Um, not sure how that'll work, but it'll be a good experiment. So what you'll need to do is if you've got vegetables that you've put in here, either beet tops or spinach, you've got that in your pan, you're going to add two cups of water. And then I'm going to use the cranberries. So I'm gonna just dump all those in there and add two cups of water to that. And then if you're using a spice, either paprika or turmeric, or um, there's a couple different spices that would work really well. This is paprika. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna take that little plastic thing off and you need two tablespoons of whatever spice. If curry was another one that worked well too. So there's one. Hmm. There we go. And two, as long as you're close. Okay, so I'm gonna add my water to those. I'm gonna put them on the stove, bring them to a boil, and then reduce the heat and let them simmer for about 20 minutes. And then you'll need to remove it from the heat and let it completely cool down before you can use the dye. So go ahead and boil up your ingredients and I will meet you back here at that point. Okay, I've got all my concentrated juices from my different ingredients. And I've got them all in mm. these red cups, as you can see lined up, ready to go. Okay, we're back and um, we have all of our cups with all of our concentrated juices in there. Be sure and label the cups um, so you know what's in them. They do look a little bit similar once they're in a cup. We strained them through a strainer. Um, you don't have to be super particular. If there's some chunkies in there, not a big deal. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take a tablespoon of vinegar and put it into each 
one of our solutions. And vinegar is an acid and dyes react well with an acidic base. And normally the water that we cooked our vegetables or our, our um, paprika or whatever seasoning you used in your water, it's, that would be a neutral base and we need to bring it to an acidic base. And that's what the vinegar does, is it brings the dye to an acidic content. Then when we put the egg in there, the dye will adhere better. And also the acid has a, an effect on the shell of the egg. And it happens to make it almost dissolve a little bit and it makes the eggshell just a little bit more porous meaning it will have more area on the egg to absorb the color. So that's why we put the vinegar in the water. It will give us a more vibrant color and it will help the um, dye look better and stick to the eggs. So at this point, we're going to just drop our eggs in gently. Okay, we've had our eggs sitting in the dye for about 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. You can leave them in overnight if you put them in the refrigerator, or after about 30 minutes, they'll have enough color that they'll be ready to take out of the solution. So right here, this was the beet tops. So these were the leaves that came off of the beets when I bought, after I bought them at the store. Not the beets themselves, but the leaves and the tops. So you can see, kind of a murky, brownish kind of color. Not too exciting. Here's the spinach. I think spinach might have worked a little bit better if I had a little more spinach, but you can still see it did turn out greenish. So green spinach, green egg. Okay, I think probably one of the best was the blueberries. And I used frozen blueberries and I think they were very concentrated in color because when I took them out of the bag, they turned my fingers blue. So I had a good feeling that they were going to work really well. Okay, this is the coffee. Ooh, this is a pretty color. So there's coffee. Here's the paprika. Some of the paprika is still in the solution. There we go. This is pretty, very similar to the coffee color, actually. They're pretty kind of speckled, it looks nice. Okay, here are the beets. This is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. So there's the beets. And this is cranberries. And the cranberries, I think since they were dried cranberries, they didn't have a lot of color in them. Most of the natural cranberry juice had already been extracted. So we found out that doesn't work so well. Had we used real cranberries, that probably would have worked better. So we have learned that from what the pigment is that's in the plant or in the spice, that's where we get the color from. So it's an organic pigment that has dyed our eggs. So um, we haven't used any chemicals. It's all organic and um, good for you. So the colors are fun and you could re-dip eggs into another color again and combine colors. Um, you could sprinkle salt on them at this point and it would do some really fun effects. A list, um, a list of uh, different things, different techniques you can use on your egg to give them different effects. So that will be at the end of the video. So when you've done your eggs and you display them, take a picture and send them to us at the Creativity Lab and we'll see what color everybody got from all their different ingredients. Thanks so much for tuning in.